word sincere comes from two Latin words. Sin and sera, which means without wax. And you think, well, what does that, that, what does that have to do with being sincere? Well, in the Roman days, you had these artists doing these sculptures. And what they would do is when they would make a mistake, the really bad ones would fill it in with wax. But they wouldn't tell the people they were making the sculptures for. And it looked like it was okay. It looked fine. They would fill in these defects in the marble until the statue had been exposed to the sun. And what happens to wax in the sun? It melts. It melts. But see, the more dependable sculptors, they would make sure that the customers knew that the statues they sold were sin Sarah. They were without wax. So we need to be sincere. We need to be without wax. We need to be who we are in Jesus Christ. See, our lives need to be sincere because when we walk in the light, when we walk with God, it is revealed. Our, our, our imperfections are revealed. Our lies are revealed. We must be honest with God and we must be honest with ourselves. Because God's light reveals our sins and we need to confess them and we need to ask God for his forgiveness and we need to ask others for their forgiveness if our sin has harmed them. So the question is, John is writing this so that we may not sin and the question is, what keeps us from sinning? Now when I grew up, when I was growing up in the Nazarene church, it was all fire and brimstone. I don't know how many times I came down to the altar because the pastor was preaching on the fact of hell. I was scared to death of hell. I didn't want to be in hell. I want to be in heaven. And I'm going to go to the altar as many times as I can to make sure that I'm going to make it to heaven. But see, the problem is, fear of punishment never keeps us from sinning. My kids, I can threaten them as many times as I want. But you know what? They still do what they're not supposed to do. In fact, there's sometimes I have to laugh at myself. I'm thinking, why are you telling them that? Because it's not going to do any good. Sin does not get stopped because we're afraid of being punished. But the New Testament and John assumes that our main motivator for not sinning is love. 